covered with snow. Snow hid the street and the sidewalk and made the whole world look beautiful. But Danny didn't care, did he? No. No. Why didn't Danny no, care? He didn't have his teddy bear. He didn't have his teddy bear, that's right, Nora. No. So, Danny wanted to find his friend, you know, so he ran to the front door and he looked out. Goodness, said Mother, close that door. It's freezing out there. I wanted to see if Teddy Bear had come home, said Danny. Teddy Bear is not a puppy or a kitten, said Mother. You're going to have to look for your Teddy Bear. So all day, guess what Danny did? Looked for his teddy bear. Yes, Talia, he looked for his teddy bear. He looked everywhere upstairs. He looked everywhere downstairs. He looked under the beds. Again. He looked on top of the tables. Again. And every once in a while, he looked out of the front door, but all he could see was... Snow. 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 Right. Go out and play, said Mother. You like to play in the snow? And the weather will get warmer soon, and what will happen to the snow? Melt. It will melt. No, no, no. I am waiting for Teddy Bear, said Danny. Yep, that's what he said. The next morning, no. when Danny awoke, his mother said, Oh, Danny, you should have played in the snow yesterday. I mean, the snow is nearly melted, but did Danny care? No. no. All he wanted to do was... Look for his Teddy Bear. He ran to the front door and he looked out. Most of the snow had melted, as Mother had said. And Danny's friend had come home. Yay! Yes, 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 yes! There on the ground lay Teddy Bear. I can see. Snow covered his brown woolly legs. Melting snow dripped off his nose and he was wet and cold instead of woolly and warm. But he was home! Yes, 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 yes! Goodness, said Mother. You must have left him out in the yard the night that you couldn't find him. And then the snow covered him, right? Yes. Yeah. He couldn't come home while the snow covered him, but when the snow melted, he came, said Danny. His mother laughed. You were right, she said. Teddy Bear came home just as soon as he could, even though he isn't a kitten or a puppy dog. He is my friend, said Danny. And then Danny laughed. Ha, ha, ha. Because it was nice to have his best friend home hey, again. The end. Hiya. Could I ask you please to get up? I'll get up. Come on, get up, get up. Why are you getting up? Okay, you're getting up because you can't do the two-step sitting down. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do the two-step. Everybody is doing the two-step, and it's so easy. I mean, you only have to know one thing to do the two-step. You have to know the difference between slow and quick. Take a look. This is slow. Slow, slow. And this is quick. Quick, quick. That's it. Slow, slow, quick, quick. OK, come on, let's try it together. You ready? Here we go. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. See, oh, isn't that interesting that there's always music when you need it? I learned this two-step from my teddy bear. They don't call him two-step teddy for nothing. It all happened one day um, right after a teddy bear tail, you know? Most of the kids had gone home and only a few were left. They were helping me to clean up, you know, when suddenly my big teddy bear jumped into my arms and he said, Let's dance. Who, me? said I. And that's when a hush puppy piped in. Not just you, Sherry, everyone, all you guys out there. <laughs> Go get a teddy bear for a partner. And if you do not have one, just make believe you got an arm full of bear. And everyone everywhere, let's do the two-step teddy. Now, if everyone's ready, it's time to pick up your teddy and hold him tight in your arms while we learn the... Two-step teddy, two-step teddy. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, you can do it. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, nothing 
to it to step teddy always ready for country dancing to step teddy knows that once you start dancing it's lots of fun there's no hurry never worry if you get mixed up to step teddy knows the way that it's done if your body stops swaying whenever there's music playing then there's something that you should know I can show you a new step It's fun and it's called a two-step Give that partner a hug and away we go Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow Slow, quick, quick, slow Slow, quick, quick, you can do it Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow Slow, quick, quick, slow Slow, quick, quick, nothing Two-step Teddy, always ready for country dancing. Two-step Teddy knows you'll never stop dancing. Once you've begun, no denying. If you're trying to have a good time, two-step Teddy knows that dancing is fun. <laughs> slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, you can do it. Slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, nothing to it. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, you can do it. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Cool. Mmm. I mean, real cool. Get your teddy ready, get your teddy ready Though he may be sleeping on your bed He should be in your lap instead and gotten ready Like I said, he should be gotten ready Hold your teddy steady for a teddy bear tail Hold his tail! Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, you'll get a story And Mr. Bearley, my darling Mr. Bearley, this one's for you Beep, beep Once upon a time there was a president of the United States Whose name was Teddy Teddy. No, his name wasn't Teddy Bear. His real name, Nora, was Theodore. Theodore. Can you say that? Theodore. Theodore. Theodore, yeah. But his last name was not Bear. What was his last name? Roosevelt. Roosevelt was his name. And you know, he was famous because he once saved the life of a little baby bear. Saved it from a hunter. And so when a toy company made a fuzzy, stuffed toy bear, they called it... Teddy, after President Teddy Roosevelt. Now, lots of boys are named Teddy, too, and when one of them, Teddy Tilson, had a birthday party, his cousin Barbara gave him one of those stuffed teddy bears and said, Teddy is a very important name. There are two famous teddies that I know of. One of them is Teddy Roosevelt, and the other is Teddy Bear. I couldn't get the president, Teddy Roosevelt, to come and visit you, but I've bought you Teddy Bear. Soon afterward, Cousin Barbara moved away, and she didn't see Teddy Tilson for many years. When she met him next, it was at the boy's fifth birthday party. What do you want to be when you grow up? Cousin, Cousin Barbara I wanna, asked. I want to be a giraffe. You want to be a giraffe? Well, now, when Teddy was asked what he wanted to be, Teddy Tilson said, I want to be another famous Teddy. And Barbara was impressed. So she said, you want to be president of the United States? No, the boy giggled. I want to be a bear. I want to be a ballerina. A ballerina, yeah. I want to be a nurse. I want to be an elephant. You want to be an elephant? Well, I want to wish you all a great deal of luck. This is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. That's enough, guys. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing I can't believe you guys. I 